by Knott's Berry Farm. And we have the Boysenberry Festival going on. Hey everybody, Tom here at Beyond Walt Disney Planet. I am at Knott's Berry Farm today. Now if you saw my ride footage, you might have noticed that I'm wearing a different shirt than I was yesterday. Turns out my good camera, my good video camera, died on me last night. So I had to go out and purchase a new camera, which is what I'm filming on right now. So I'm back for another day, which is good because I purchased a annual pass while I was here. So I didn't cost me anything extra to get in because I wanted to give you guys a tour of the park. Really, really fantastic design, especially Ghost Town, all old Western themed. So I'm gonna show you guys everything there is to do here at the park. Virginia's gift shop has a nice wall mural showing all the different things that were added to the park from its inception. Yeah, so Knott's Berry Farm started out as Knott's Berry Place. Actual farm. And they grew boysenberries. They sold jams. Made of the sweet fruit. By the 1930s, Southern Fried Chicken restaurant was introduced. And that became very, very popular. So they expanded from there. In the 1940s, they added Ghost Town. And became Knott's Berry Farm in Buena Park, California. 1950s, more stuff was added. Saw so Sad Eye Joe in the Ghost Town Jail. Ghost Town Railway was added. Lots of different shows. This was pre-rides. So they did have a covered wagon. And the train ride. So I guess they had trains, but there's no other rides besides that. Not significant rides anyway, like they have now. 1950s saw further expansion. And to the 1960s, Calico Mine Company was added. Lots more stores opened up. Started selling pie. Independence Hall was added all through the 60s. Smaller rides were added into the 70s. This is a map of the way the original park was. Quite different from today's version. Except Ghost Town Remains, Fiesta Village has a lot more different rides. They have Boardwalk Section and now they have Camp Snoopy. So now it's very far marketplace, has lots of stores. People could come here to just to the marketplace without going through the front gates. Enjoy the fried chicken. They have various shops selling Knott's Berry Farm merchandise. They got preserves, jams and jellies. See some of the merchandise and one of the wagons. Ghost Town is modeled an old southwestern town. Dancing around the barrel. To the left of the main entrance is Ghost Town. This is the first area that was actually added that would later become the theme park known as Knott's Berry Farm. It's the largest area of the park and also the best themed. So once inside Ghost Town, 
just on your right, you'll come across Wagon Camp. Wagon Camp has a Wild West stunt show. Various timings throughout the day. And right across from the Wagon Camp, they have Stroller Shop where you can rent strollers. They also have the Geode Shop right by it. And they also have a Knott's Berry Farm stand that sells actual boysenberry plants. So you can take these things home, plant them near a trellis because they're our vine, let them grow. And if you get enough sun and watered properly, you get your own boysenberries growing on it. <laughs> ghost Town is home to eight different rides, including the Ghost Rider roller coaster. Now this is a fantastic wooden coaster. I think it's the best one in the park. That is just my opinion. So come here and pan for gold. Don't expect to strike it rich, because it's basically gold flakes. Got Spurs Chop House. And all around the park during the festival, they got these little, little stands selling boysenberry flavored foods. Got some boysenberry chicken wings. Down a little further, you get a fantastic view of the track of Ghost Rider. This is near the exit of the ride. But also the location of guest services and locker rentals, as well as first aid and security. Inside guest services building, you could purchase a fast lane armband for $75. This lets you skip the lines on many of the popular rides. Got a lot of different vintage pictures up on the walls. All right, so backtracking at the Ghost Rider entrance. And right around here. You can smell the boysenberry. It smells really, really good. So they have a lot more little, little shops going towards the blacksmith. I got boysenberry punch and my refillable drink bottle, so I have that with me today. I will be getting some more. They got the blacksmithing. You got a personalized horseshoe made. This is real authentic blacksmithing the way he did it back in the old west. See all the buildings, all designed to mimic an old western town, sheriff's office. Little hotel. And they have the town jail over here. Gonna go see Sad Eye Joe. And you come up to the window, I'll talk to you. Let's go see him. Hello. There he is. He sleeping? Oh, sorry, I dozed out for a second. I, oh, there's someone here. Yeah. Howdy, mister. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Sorry. I'm doing all right. Just, I mean, I guess as good as you can get for, you know, being in jail. Yeah. So what did you get caught for again? Oh, you mean like, why did I get arrested? Yeah. Sheriff didn't like me none at all. Oh, okay. Because I stole his horse. You stole his horse? Oh, I'm, I'm sure it was for a good reason, though. What was it? I said, I'm sure it was for a good reason. Oh, uh, uh, I mean, well, I appreciate that, sir. In fact, I think it was for a good reason. I, I, I did it to, to impress a lady. And she oh. was very impressed by Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. I would have done the same thing. Oh, well, I, well, I appreciate folks like you, sir. Oh. I make me feel good about myself. <laughs> well, you have yourself a good day, all right, mister? What's that? You have yourself a good day, all right? Same to you. Thank you. Hi, of course. I'll see you. Bye. He was a pretty nice guy. In jail because he stole the, uh, the sheriff's horse to impress a lady. Man, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, you gotta impress the lady sometimes. You got the general store. More different shops. Get some personalized signs, novelty signs. 
We got Old McDonald's Barn. Another really cool looking windmill. All decorated up with boysberries. A ghost town grub. At the Western Trails Museum. It's good looking there. Well, these are real authentic, not reproductions. Old timey cash register built in 1914. We got display cases with some of the old tools. I apologize for the reflection from the lights on the display cases. A lot of old typewriters. Kids nowadays have no idea what a typewriter is because everything's done on a keyboard of a computer. This is really cool. Old West looking town. Appear to be different branding irons. People would brand their cattle with their ranches or name so nobody else can steal their cattle. It's an old fire wagon. The old west rifles. Case here with spurs and bits of the old west. Tools. Hundred fifty year old United States flag. A whole lot less stars on it than there is today. The old schoolhouse, established 1875. Sign says it was actually built in 1879 by a group of Iowa farmers who settled in central Kansas near Belolt. It's an actually good sized school. We've seen other older schools that were really small. Just fine, thank you. How are you? Was this there? strictly just a school? It didn't share with a church or anything like that? Uh, well, back when this school was built in 1879, a lot of schools were multi purpose rooms. So, because of that, I'm sure they did use it for other functions. I mean, they, they have social events, meetings, and usually church on Sundays. Now, I can't confirm that, whether that actually happened here. But yeah, more often than not, schools like this were used for church. Alright, thank you so much for the information. Yeah, no problem. You have a great day. The old wagon looks like it was used for uh, for like a circus. And right in front of the schoolhouse, they got the Calico Town Hall. And Ghost Town Toy Junction and Novelties. That pretty much speaks for itself. Got different toys and novelties. And then they got the glass blower. Got Boot Hill Diggins on the side of an old wagon. It's old looking buildings. This thing's like leaning. Another old shack. Love the landscaping. We got the Boot Hill Cemetery. All sorts of dead guys here. Wow. Here lies Lester Moore, four slugs from a 44, no less, no more. <laughs> Says it all. A couple other guys. An old Paul Bear's wagon. The dearly departed would ride, pulled by horses to their final resting place. It's the back part of the museum I was in. The Calico Hotel and Calico Saloon. Yep. Also got a Ghost Town candy store. Right. Ice cream. So it's spring break, so it's very, very crowded today.
You can see the train. Calico Saloon. We got Butterfield Stagecoach. Real authentic stagecoach pulled by real authentic horses. I was on this really nice, enjoyable ride. Yeah, Judge Roy Bean. Justice of the Peace. Inside is actually set up like an old bar. You can get my mama one. Purchased my refillables bottle yesterday. Got it refilled with uh, boysenberry punch. It is really, really refreshing. Awesome flavor. Let's see the train. Be going on this a little bit later. There's also a line for Silver Bullet. Show you the track for this in just a moment. Go underneath this little. Go underneath a little bit. This goes below where the horses. The stagecoach ride. But this giant red and orange coaster is Silver Bullet. Awesome suspension coaster. This is the map of Knott's Berry Farm. See, right now we're in the Old West portion. I'm moving my way over to Camp Snoopy, and Fiesta Village, and finally the Boardwalk. All right, so I'm passing around the front of the train. I went back to the little tunnel. As you pass over the railroad tracks, another little section of ghost town. Got Snoopy's Boysenberry Jamboree. This is Calico Mine Company. I'm gonna get in line right now to go on this. Right across to the exit of the Calico Mine Ride, they have the Calico Logging Company Log Ride. This is a log flume. It's a Timber Mountain Log Ride entrance. Now just like the, the mining coaster or mining train we just went on, they actually have animatronic figurines throughout this ride also. We go through this mountain. See so you go on up. You also have a Panda Express Chinese food restaurant. All right, now I said I was gonna be doing Camp Snoopy section next, but I wasn't thinking when I first said that I would have to backtrack. So right past the log flume ride, it brings us into our next section, which is the boardwalk. It's just as it states, it resembles an old boardwalk. We have a lot of games, a chance, a couple restaurants, and a couple real good thrill rides, plus a brand new coaster that's opening up this summer. Boardwalk Ballroom has an 80s dance party each night from 6.30 to 9.30. Basically a dance floor playing 80s tunes with lasers and smoke machines. So it brings back memories. They also got Boardwalk Barbecue. It's where I had my lunch last, uh, yesterday. It said various games of chance. I saw a lot of people with basketballs. It's home to the Accelerator Roller Coaster. This is a launching coaster. Extremely fast. And you got this triple tower here. Called the Supreme Scream. Other oh, games of chance. Got shoot hoops. 
whack-a-mole and getting the ball in the can, you know, the milk cans. Got a uh, gas station looking building. That's a gift shop. A couple other games. They also have a couple burger restaurants over here. Looks like old 50s type uh, drive-in diners. Another roller coaster here called Toast Rider. Not to be confused with Ghost Rider that we saw at the beginning. This is not a wooden coaster. It's a different roller coaster. And this fantastic looking thing is the newest roller coaster that I'll be opening up later this summer. Unfortunately, I will not be here to experience it. And they're actually running test vehicles right now, so I'll be able to show you how it looks. Beyond vertical drop. And it holds you up there, as you can see. This looks like it'd be an awesome, awesome ride. Wow. Fortunately, I won't be here. This is called Hang Time. First the only dive coaster in California, beyond vertical drop, five gravity defying inversions. The Coast Rider track. Got a couple other boardwalk style rides. Like the Pacific Scrambler, Surfside Gliders. We also have a Johnny Rockets. This is another old 50s style diner. With hamburgers, fries, malts, chili dogs. It's also home to Voyage uh, to the Iron Reef. To Voyage to the Iron Reef is a shooting type game with the Charles M. Schultz Theater. You got different things going on here throughout the year. For here they have bumper cars called Wheeler Dealer. Typical bumper cars. The Hollywood Hits restaurant. Right, it's one little corner right by the western entrance to the park is the Pony Express. It's a launch coaster. You sit on what looks like to be a horse. Very fast, very short ride. Basically go through this enclosed looking barn. Go over a loop and you're in your back. Still a fun ride. Right by the Pony Express fast lane entrance. You got Wilderness Boiler and Doc Pemberson's Refresh Station. Refill your Coca-Cola, which is good because I need a refill. All right, Bigfoot Rapids. A Mystery Lodge. Show times all throughout the day. I want to show you this. Nice looking waterfall. I can feel the mist hitting me. Gentlemen here doing glass blowing. Tell your dad needs a cup of whiskey. What? Yeah. Some of the items that have been made here. The person's doing chainsaw art. Made out of big old logs.
with some of the items that have been made here. It's awesome bear in a log, $800. But if you like bears, hey, you know. All sorts of nice stuff. Cute little bear there for 75. Wow. Bears and owls. Cats. Puppy dogs. All right, so I looped around back next to Silver Bullet underneath the little pathway that I came by before. Working my way over to Fiesta Village next. So they have these little mission buildings, reproductions. This was in Mission Santa Barbara. Mission San Gabriel. So this is Mission La Turisma Concepcion. Well, that's a really nice one. This is Mission San Bernabéu. Sure, I messed that up, but this is it. It's like a church. This is Mission San Carlos. All right, going into Fiesta Village. All right, so right in front of Fiesta Village, you can see the part of the track for the log ride. And also this tan and brown track. This is a Jaguar. This whole area is designed like an old southwestern town. Got the really nice looking fountain. All right, Fiesta Village has the merry-go-round, often called a carousel. Right next to the merry-go-round is the Soul Spin. That is this crazy looking ride here. Not many people on it. So I don't know if it's not working or just people are too scared to get on it. Or right inside this pyramid is a Jaguar roller coaster. You can see the car for Jaguar just going down. This right here is called La Revolution. For some reason I couldn't say Revolution if I said the law first. But this is it. Lots of spinniness. This is La Revolution. In action! Back and forth and spins around. Doesn't that look like fun, kids? And right in front of this, you got Pancho's Tacos. This to the left of the taco stand, they got the hat dance. This is the hat dance. So this is the hat dance in action. Similar to the teacups at Disney. You spin around and there's a little handle in the center. Then you can make it spin even faster. And they also have the dragon swing. Also called the pirate ship in other places. You see that in action right now. So if you sit to either side, you're going to go up even higher than everybody else. I guess the village also has one other roller coaster called Montezuma's Revenge. You see in the back, this is a launch coaster. You go around one loop. You go up. You go around the loop again. You speed through the station. And up to the top again. That is the extent of the ride. Short and sweet. All right, so Fiesta Village, I'm into Camp Snoopy. Just the Peanuts characters. I grew up with, with the comic strip. A lot of you watching have also done the same with all of the different characters from the Peanuts. Charlie Brown, Linus, Snoopy, of course. The area of the park is named after Camp Snoopy. So let's go see what they have. All right, Rocky Mountain Trucking Company. This area is for the young kids. We've got Rocky Mountain Trucking Company. We got the High Sierra Ferris wheel. A lot smaller version of a Ferris wheel, but it's actually still pretty high. Charlie Brown's Kite Flyer. 
This is cute. It looks like the kite eating tree. You see it spins. The mouth goes from regular tree to eating Charlie Brown's kite. And we got Peppermint Patty's candy cabin. I got some interesting candies from this yesterday. I'll, I'll add that part to this video. Okay, they have something here that I've actually never seen before. You got gummy chicken feet. That is quite disgusting. And gummy octopus. Very, very interesting. Gummy frogs. All right, so I got a nice assortment of gummies. I got some 3D gummy bears. I got gummy carrots. Boysenberry gummy bears. It is a boysenberry festival after all. Some gummy bananas. And I had to get the gummy chicken feet. So I'm gonna try the chicken feet right now. I, I hope you guys doesn't taste like chicken. Eh. It's not bad. It doesn't taste like chicken, I'm glad about that. The boysenberry gummy bear. Oh that's delicious. Oh yeah. Then we got the carrot. Oh. That's such a nice and sweet. Yeah. Mm. That's good too. And then gummy bear. That's got a nice sweetness to it also. Now the banana here. Has a sugary coating to it. Yeah. That's pretty good too. That should taste like banana. Go figure, huh? I'm just glad the chicken feet didn't taste like chicken. Or feet. And they got Rapid River Run. As this baby spins around, goes back and forth. Also have the camp bus. This is camp bus in action. We got Timberline Twister roller coaster. This is a kid size roller coaster. Only stipulation is you have to be over 36 inches, but under 69 inches. So if you're well over six feet, you wouldn't be able to ride because you'd be too high. Camp Stupid has a nice seating area. Get a pastel portrait made or your face painted. We got the Huff and Puff. This is a miniature train. He's got to move a little handle back and forth to make their car move. All right, they got the Linus Launcher. This is a flying spinning ride. Now near Grizzly Creek Lodge, they have this waterfall. And they got these little bridges you can cross that go behind the waterfall. Bridge. Bouncy, bouncy. So you're going up and down on these barrels. This little cave. Right behind the waterfall. On the other side you can see the little river flowing and all the rocks. Boulders. And some rapids. See the front part of Grizzly Creek Lodge eatery. The camp Snoopy also has the balloon race. These colorful balloons. They got flying.
flying ace. You know, Snoopy always daydreams about being a World War II flying ace. Fighting the Red Baron. Snoopy has doghouse. That's his flying airplane right there. Let's have Woodstock's airmail. Alright, so Woodstock's airmail is a little mini drop. Gives you a good shake. Alright, right in front of the Grand Sierra Railroad. Beagle Bonanza, a Sierra Sidewinder. Now, even though this is in a Camp Snoopy area, this is definitely not a kitty ride. This is a very, very cool roller coaster. It spins. And of course, they got the Camp Snoopy store. Get all of your peanuts themed items shirts and hats, coffee mugs, keychains. Plush, all sorts of good stuff. There's Snoopy. Oh, this is awesome. They have a bunch of the Charlie Brown specials on DVD. Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown, that's an awesome movie. The Great Pumpkin, of course. A lot of these come on in different holidays throughout the year. Got lots of Snoopies, different sizes, prices of course. Knott's Berry Farm even has trading pins. Already purchased my Knott's Berry Farm hat yesterday when I was here. And I have my refillable sports bottle that also has Knott's Berry Farm. So anytime I go to a new place, I typically get a hat as my main souvenir. And if they have the drink cups refillable, I usually get those because it comes in handy, you get free drinks, refills throughout the day. So that's typically what I get when I go to a place. I don't go overboard buying a bunch of different animals, stuff wise, you know, stuffed animals that I'll never need or just takes up space. And you can see Camp Snoopy. Alright, so at the exit of Camp Snoopy brings you right back to the main entrance and the exit for Knott's Berry Farm. All right, I'm gonna have my dinner here at Knott's Chicken Dinner Restaurant. Hope it's as good as I hear it is. You got the giant chicken out front. This is inside the famous chicken restaurant. Figured why I'm here, I'm gonna have the chicken dinner because it is dinner time. Got famous pies here also. There's the bar area, full menu served at the bar. Sure. It's called Chicken Dinner Restaurant. That's all it's called. Nasbury Farm Chicken Dinner Restaurant. All right, so I just had my dinner at Nasbury Farm Chicken Dinner Restaurant. That was some of the best fried chicken I've ever had. You get a whole half a chicken. Starts out with uh, chicken noodle soup. Again, I think it's the best chicken noodle soup I've ever had. It's really, really good. You get a choice of boysenberry or rhubarb uh, preserves to go with your biscuits. They bring you a plate of nice biscuits, fresh homemade. You get a salad. I got ranch dressing. It was really, really good. Got mashed potatoes and seasoned corn to go with my fried chicken. I got boysenberry pie. I was so stuffed, I opted to get the boysenberry pie to go. So it's a fantastic place. Very, very good food. Puts a nice ending to the day that I spent here at Nutsbury Farm.